Have you seen dead ass yet? It's time. All right, I saved it. Let's go. Yup, it's that easy. Yup, it's that easy. Ah, <laughs> coins, we take those. It's that easy, let's go. It's like I'm running it down, bro. Wrong Dom. It's that easy, man. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, bro. This collab pack, kind of hitting. That's half of my uh, galaxy bookmarks. This is seeded for a great stream. Yeah, you just press pull and you hit. Yup, there you go. Yup, let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, yo, that's my boy. Holy, let's go. <laughs> one from one from pity. It's like, what if we just hit another one right on our pity? I'm running down ML refund. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. Holy, let's go. Okay, so this is our build for Commander Pavel. Um, so based on my initial findings for, you know, how, how I, I would envision he works, right? CR pushes himself by 50%. Uh, generally to me, that lets him catch up to like 300 speed units. I plan on playing him like a little bit more mid range at around like 280, 290. So um, that's where most of my openers are. So I don't have them to super high speed. Uh, but if his speed ends up becoming an issue, I'll probably put a little bit more speed gear on him. As is, he's on no imprints and he's on uh, a plus 30 copy of Misha, which as far as my knowledge goes, goes past the um, 350 crit damage limit. Uh, essentially, he's just built for maximum damage. Uh, you crit two things, he pushes himself up and then he's just there to wreck things yeah so let's just run him down arena run him down gvg and rta and see what happens okay this, this is like the best comps i can come up with on the fly we're gonna test roy in a different fight we get all sped here it is what it is man goodbye send you some spoilers all right let's see it hey yo what uh-oh like that's not good all right well i'm suiciding this to enable pavel it's like i don't know about you guys man this damage do be looking kind of impressive i don't think we can win this because we didn't kill the hua there but let's see this Who says his damage is shit? Who says his damage is shit, huh? Like that was a hit, man. Put in my damage without attack up. All right, show me damage. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. That's no penetration. It's 15K damage with no penetration. I, I think that's pretty significant. I think we got a game. I'm still not used to the icons being on the left. All right, moment of truth. Show me kill. Man! Man! That was, uh, that was a kill if no proof. That really was a 5k attack gap though. Attack up, should win. That's the thing, Ed buffs made him really playable. Uh, is this a fast sage? Like, we're kind of in trouble. My natural speed tuning does this too. I figured I'd be able to do this versus Korean players, but not Chinese players. If he pushes up a unit, I might be in trouble. Okay, we have attack down. Give me crit damage up. You guys all know the lose condition for this part now. I have immunity. Oh, I got cut by an APOC! No! Oh my god. Tragic. The real loss to the community.
No R and L. That's a little unlucky. He presses here, right? He has to. The problem now is he can push and kick. Wait, that's Ed. 20k. I forgot to check his HP. Hmm. I wonder if this kills. Oh, gear gap. Goodbye. Extra attack, that's fair. I guess if I had guiding here, I actually live, right? How much damage is this? That was pretty underwhelming. Look, we win though. Steady lives. Forget about the Carmen. Oh, you should have seen my pulse tonight, man. I'm like five star Andromeda Galaxy in terms of summons tonight. All right, let's see this. Motherfuck! He just top right it. Um. Let's hope the RNG rolls our way. Oh shit! Never mind. Whatever. Whatever. Fuck me, dude. I definitely speed RNG him. There's no way I race a uh, YD. I raced YD on my stream and his stream, and it was on YouTube. Yes, sir. So as you guys can see, uh, that would be Pavel. I I think he's a really cool unit i think in terms of flashiness uh his s3 animation is the coolest in the game bar none but in terms of how he performs um he's very greedy in terms of damage he, like i'm basically putting my best damage gear on the entire count on him right and even then he misses kills by like just barely sometimes and he would miss cutting some units very slightly right he's very greedy in terms of both damage and speed I think, realistically speaking, if I could, or if I had like, you know, uh, more resources on my account, I would probably try to go 165 to 170 speed uh, with maybe 100 more attack if I can squeeze that in. But, you know, our gear is what we get, right? So it is what it is. In terms of usage, though, I will say I think he's really strong in both um, cleave and aggro. Uh, but for aggro and standard, I do think he sh his best in slot artifacts probably something like Guiding Light as opposed to Misha. It's going to lower his damage output by a lot and uh, change some matchups, you know, with maybe like a green violet or uh, something like that, right? I think as a cleaver, there are a lot more ways to set up this unit. Uh, but if you're playing aggro or standard where you're less combo focused and you're more reliant on your natural speed, it's quite a bit harder to set him up and then if you don't have um, something like Guiding Light, right? What'll happen is if your closer Charles uh, love taps, you know, Apocalypse Ravi with that S3, the Apocalypse Ravi gets pushed up and you're a lot slower, so you have to cut a bit more. Um, but if, you know, I bump up my speed a little bit, suddenly I'm not gonna have enough damage. So that's actually a, quite a real problem with ML Pavel. And um, I'm not quite sure how to get around that. I actually do think in terms of overall value, he's actually not getting that much out of his defense pen. He, he needs to get a little bit more out of his kit uh, for his ki for, for everything to really make sense. Because if he wants to thrive in this meta, uh, unless you're just perfectly committed to like cleaving, right? Uh, the, the problem is, at least with my style of drafting, I like to play mid-range and flexible. Um, when you're playing against a really fast player, um, you're just not going to work. You need to be able to play, use him as a last pick against slower players. And against really, really, really slow players, uh, what they'll do is just like stack like two knights, two revivers, and suddenly uh, you get stuck in this loop where you have one really long cooldown that can kill one of those units, but two revivers, uh, now you're kind of out of moves. So it's really, really awkward uh, to play him. I think if he had more damage built into his kit, because you can tell like my damage is not bad, right? Um, if he has more damage and I'm allowed to build him faster without feeling the pressure of like, wow, maybe I don't kill a proof uh, proof of valor a Ravi, um, I think he would be a lot in a lot better for position. Hey guys, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to drop me a like and subscribe. It would really help me out. If you want to catch any of these moments live, be sure to follow me at twitch.tv slash Valkyria underscore. Also, catch me hanging out on my Discord, link in description. For now, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya, see ya.